continuous research is being done on the efficacy of the COVID-19 vaccine. A group of scientists in South Africa are leading research on the effects on people living with HIV. It's being carried out in eight sub-Saharan countries. So let's discuss this with Nigel Garrett, Dr. Nigel Garrett, to be more specific, from the Center for the AIDS Program of Research in South Africa. Uh, Doc, good morning to you and uh, good to have you this morning. I mean, uh, the importance of this research, what are you hoping to get out of it? Good morning to Melo and good morning to all your viewers this morning as well. Um, so the, it's called the Ubuntu trial and it's run across eight countries um, across Southern Africa and East Africa, including um, South Africa, Eswatini, Malawi, Zambia, Kenya, Uganda, as well as uh, Botswana as well. So we, we are hoping to um, enroll about 14,000 participants, uh, about 12,000 of them HIV positive. Uh, and this is going to be the largest trial amongst HIV positive uh, people um, probably ever conducted for a mRNA COVID vaccine study. Yeah. And I understand that you are also looking into examining the efficacy, obviously, COVID-19. Um, if, if I can be more specific in this case, Moderna, MRNA1273, uh, in people living with HIV. Yeah, that's right. So uh, the first dose was administered in South Africa on the 2nd of December. So that was the first time uh, Moderna was administered in South Africa. Um, so we will be looking at uh, different regimens for HIV positive uh, people. Um, so there's considerable uncertainty still whether we should be giving perhaps three doses or two doses in the primary vaccination uh, regimen. And we will be looking at that in detail. So everyone will be receiving the Moderna mm. vaccine in the trial. And um, obviously we're interested uh, in you know, collecting additional uh, data that we can also provide our regulator so that they could potentially then license the product in South Africa as another mRNA vaccine. Right. Uh, Doc, we know that Sub-Saharan Africa has been hard hit uh, by COVID-19. When it comes to access to effective vaccines, are we seeing that more in the region or has that not occurred as yet? Yeah, so we, we all know that uh, the vaccination rates across uh, the Southern African countries are still very low, about 7 to 8%. Uh, a little bit better in South Africa with 40%. It's been very difficult to get access to these highly potent mRNA vaccines. Uh, we know they are so effective from clinical trials, but also now from these real life world effectiveness uh, studies that have been done in Europe and the US, as well as now in South Africa. So um, the, the problem with mRNA technology is that it, a lot of it has been what we call bilateral negotiations and obviously then more of the vaccines went to richer countries, uh, less to the more resource limited settings. So we're trying to kind of with this study also uh, address that issue and increase access uh, and engage with regulators that they can also then approve the vaccine and hopefully mm. uh, the companies will also come on board. Yeah, so this yeah. is where the, the, the safety data to regulators also comes in, if I understand correctly. That's right, yeah. So. So we will be having a subset within the study. We know these vaccines are very safe from other studies that have been done in the US, but we will be collecting our own safety data in our population and obviously also amongst uh, people living with HIV uh, so that we can uh, monitor the vaccines in our population and then hopefully uh, get them registered as well, yes. Right. We've been having conversations, Doc, uh, about, you know, vaccine boosters, particularly uh, Pfizer. And we know that those who are immunocompromised, well, rather they are advised to get their immuno, uh, to get their vaccine boosters, rather, in at least 28 days after their second shot. I mean, do you have any data or information so far in terms of how those living with HIV have reacted so far uh, to the vaccines available, even, of course, with the expected booster shot? Yeah, so there's uh, some very st strong data and well-conducted studies from the Western Cape uh, colleagues who found that the, um, the amount of severe disease amongst people living with HIV who are not on HIV treatment is, is mm. very high, so about three times the risk. And also then the, what we call the mortality, so the number of deaths are much higher. So the, the primary focus is actually to get everyone who's living with HIV on HIV treatment and then also ensure that everyone is vaccinated. Um, whether that is, you know, 
we will then decide or be able to to support the evidence whether that you know maybe a two dose regimen is better or three dose regimen we know that people with low cd4 counts which means they have a lower immune system uh, may require a third dose because um you know the immune responses to the initial vaccination is just not as strong all right. Well, of course, we appreciate you speaking to us and uh, uh, looking forward to talking to you more again uh, about this particular topic. Quite important. Uh, Caprice, head of HIV pathogenesis and vaccine research, Dr. Nigel Garrett.